home sweet home for the next few days. These darts are no joke. Those are razor blades. All right, guys, headed back into the wilderness. The only things I've got to survive are what are in my backpack here. Just basic camping gear, a little bit of jerky, and one bottle of water. I don't know how long I'm gonna be out here, but it could be a long time. The only weapon I brought to hunt this trip is my blowgun. So if we're gonna have any fresh meat, we're gonna have to kill it with a blowgun. And definitely this time of year in Texas, snake boots are a must. Hiking into the camping area. Pretty much just got a tent, sleeping bag in here, my ghillie suit, and about a pound of beef jerky that I made. But this trip's a little different than the rest of them. I actually brought my blowgun this time instead of the bow and arrow. A blowgun like this is one of my absolute favorite weapons to hunt with. There is pretty much nothing that can compare to hunting with one of these things. These blowguns are extremely deadly. I mean, the advancement of blowguns has really came a long way in these last few years. This thing will pretty much kill anything a bow and arrow will kill. I've been making and hunting with blowguns probably since I was eight or nine years old, making them out of a copper pipe and darts out of X-Acto blades and dowel rods. A blowgun's really been one of my lifelong obsessions. Probably killed more animals with a blowgun than most people have with a rifle in their life. Um, I've, I've hunted religiously with this thing for the majority of my life. And the number one key to hunting with a blowgun is getting close. You gotta get as close as possible with this kind of equipment. We're gonna see if we can put this dart to work tonight on a maybe a hog or a raccoon. And since I didn't bring any meat to cook, we're gonna have to kill something to eat this week. All right, let's get camp set up before we head out hunting. One of the weird things about this tent is for ultralight backpacking, it uses these trekking poles as the tent poles. All right, and that's home sweet home for the next few days. I'm gonna get my backpack inside there to keep the fire ants out of it. You know, I just got to thinking about it, and I bet at this point in my life, I've almost spent more nights out in a tent or a hammock on a riverside somewhere than I have in a home. Best part about this campsite is we've already got a fire pit here so we can cook our cook whatever we kill with the blowgun on. That'll, that's gonna come in handy for sure. Starting to warm up out here. The hogs pretty much go nocturnal in these warm temperatures. When most people think of a blowgun, they probably think of the little 40 caliber toy, little wire dart things, but this, this is far from it. This is, this is a very powerful weapon. I've killed hogs with this thing. I've killed, I've killed so many things with it. We, we might even get a shot at an axis deer with the blowgun, but these darts are no joke. Those are razor blades. I actually brought a target with me so we can do some practice shots with the blowgun before we head out hunting. Got this awesome target here. It works perfect for the blowgun. Got my ghillie suit, my varmint hunting stuff. And here we've got my darts. Check this out. I don't think we're going to be running out of darts this trip. I've got plenty of darts. We've got fishing darts here. We've got three blade darts. 
the, these, these are my favorites right here. These darts work really good on pretty much anything. All right, let's take some practice shots at the squirrel. I think where a lot of people go wrong with the blowgun is they try to shoot too far. You want to really try to keep it under a few yards. A blowgun is not a long range hunting weapon. You got to get close. That was about five yards, but that would be an absolute dead squirrel for sure. This target's actually made for an air gun, but it works great for this. All right, let's see if we can hit that bird. One trick on bigger game I really like to do is I'll loosen these cones so that when you hit an animal, the cone pops off. And this part will typically keep going and go completely through the animal. But as you can see, that's a pretty wide cutting diameter. You would think that animals will run a really long way when they're hit with this, but it's almost like a bee stinging them if you're quiet. And typically they will just trot off and stop and die within sight. It's actually in some ways more effective than a bow and arrow and there's no telling what we're going to kill on this trip with this thing but we're going to kill something it could be a fox a bobcat a coyote a raccoon skunk a hog an axis deer we we can kill anything with this thing just got to get close but if the world was ending and i could only take one weapon besides my bow and arrow a blowgun is no doubt what it's going to be and plus, it is just extremely fun to hunt with these things. All right, just for the heck of it, let's try a long range shot with this thing. And that was dang near a perfect shot for 20 yards. We are dialed in with the blowgun. I'm gonna go ahead and get the fire pit ready. I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking up wood, gathering, gathering firewood to put over here so that we're not in a rush to do it once I get something. I'm pretty, pretty confident in that blowgun. I'm pretty confident we're gonna make some meat with it this trip. Good thing about Texas is you ain't gotta walk far to Find some good mesquite wood to barbecue over. It's been so long since I camped at this spot. The grass has grown up big time over the fire pit. It hadn't rained in so long, this, this wood is nice and dry. Yeah, I'm gonna be cheating tonight. I brought a lighter. All right, now all we're missing is some meat to roast over it. Well, tonight could get interesting in the tent. There's been hogs rooting all up, even right beside the tent. All right, camp's ready, and while I'm waiting for the animals to start moving tonight, I'm gonna be working on building this new Comanche short bow. Well, I didn't get to eat this morning before I got dropped off out here, so I'm already having to break into my emergency rations. Well, half my water's gone. I have already worked a blister up on my hand right there. I gotta spend the night in the deer blind. There's my food rations to get me through.
you ain't ever put beef jerky in your pocket. Are you even living? All right, about to head out hunting. Let's see. Hopefully we're carrying a little heavier load on our way back. Hog or something. Care package I brought should help get them close. We're hunting in style today, actually, in a real deer blind. I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling about tonight. We're gonna get something tonight. My stomach depends on it. Update it's been six and a half minutes. My jerky pocket's empty. Some pigs coming in. I'm just waiting on one of them to give me a broadside shot here. If you look closely, you can still see the dart hanging out of this pig. He has no idea he's been hit. So I gave him one more just to seal the deal here. Oh, we just got it done on a pig, guys. So, uh... What just happened there was what I talked about earlier. I hit that pig perfectly with the big dart and they didn't even hear it. They didn't know what happened. He ran off, came right back to the feeder and kept on eating. That's, that's not the first time that's happened to me. And then I gave him another one. I put another one right through his lungs. So that pig I watched go down right out there in the grass. Yes, we're eating good tonight, boys. I'm starving. I'm gonna give him just a little bit, then we're gonna go get him. Axis deer have the scariest scream ever. Pig with the blowgun. Didn't even run, maybe 35, 40 yards, fell over dead. These things are deadly. All right, let's go cook him up. That's gonna be some good eating right there. That dart went completely through that pig. Well, now the fun begins. I got to get him about two miles back to camp. He doesn't look that big, but that thing is hefty. All right, made it back to camp. I got to get that fire started. I got to get the pig cleaned up. Well, unfortunately, this is the part YouTube will not allow me to show. So I'll be back at you in just a minute with some meat. 
All right, I got the rest of them on ice. I'm gonna throw this on the fire for me, a quick snack. I don't even have time to let it burn down. I'm so hungry. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I'm about to eat my dinner here and I'll see y'all next time.